Hey, I'm Julie McCoy, and like you, I used to wonder, is AI coming for my job? But instead of wondering, I decided to sell a 100-person reigning agency I'd grown to over $5 million in revenue, get out of human content creation, and get into the new age of AI. And since January of 2023, I've served as the president of Brandwell, a platform with over 3,000 professionals that are generating 50 million words per month to grow their businesses. I'm on the inside. I get to see what works and what doesn't work with AI-driven marketing strategies. Welcome to the CXL feed. Today, we're going to dive into AI-driven content ideation using three of my top favorite powerful AI tools, which will transform how you come up with ideas, how you evaluate them, and generate them for your content calendar. In an age where staying ahead with fresh and gauging content is crucial, AI can really be the weapon you need to get there a lot faster. This lesson will show you how to harness these AI tools to supercharge your creativity and streamline the brainstorming process. You're gonna know how to generate ideas, evaluate them, and qualify them in this video. Let's jump into it. All right, so let's get into it. AI-driven content ideation. The first step you need is a general idea of your topic and a website. If you have that, you are off to the races. So I'm gonna show you how I would develop content ideas and topics, how I would vet them, qualify them, and then add them to our calendar for content creation at brandwell.ai. So I know that the general topic area that I talk about whenever I am publishing content to our blog here is AI-related marketing strategies. That's the broad overall topic. From that, we can go super deep. We can go into AI writing, AI-driven analytics, AI-driven social media, ads, et cetera. All of that ties back to the product we sell. So that's very important. General idea of the topic you're gonna go down the path of related to what you sell. You know it'll bring you potential clients. People that are in marketing looking for marketing growth solutions are going to be our clients. Okay, so the tools that we're gonna use that I'll show you are ChatGPT. It has real-time research capabilities, which we're gonna tap into. I'm gonna show you the prompt to use to do that. We're also going to use Brian Dean's tool, Exploding Topics, and finally, the platform Brandwell itself to look up keywords and data-backed topics. So let's start with ChatGPT. Now, the reason I like ChatGPT is we can find instant ideas and then qualify them in other tools. ChatGPT is the best place to start for ideas. You're not gonna get in-depth data-driven results here, so don't expect that, but it's a great replacement for the blank slate. And that's how I treat ChatGPT. Okay, so to find our topics, we're gonna say research the topic of artificial intelligence in marketing and help me come up with 10 topics for my blog for marketers seeking growth solutions that are AI powered. All right, so what you're doing whenever you're starting this prompt with the word research is you're triggering an actual search using Google. That's very important. You can also say research the top articles on artificial intelligence and marketing, and it'll actually give you results from Google as well. So this is a great way to tap into some topics that we can then do a little bit more in-depth data-driven research on. Okay, so here's what it's giving me. 10 AI-powered growth solution topics for your blogs. And then we're going to say, suggest the best focus keywords for each of these blogs. We're gonna see what it comes up with. Now, I'm not gonna use all of these topics. Some of them are too close to each other. Some of them are not that great. If there is an editor involved in your process, for example, I am a columnist at Search Engine Land, I'm gonna run these topics by that editor and say, hey, which one works for your publication? That's very important. You don't just wanna take what AI gives you and run with it. All right, so it's giving me multiple focus keywords. So we're gonna say narrow down to one main focus keyword per topic, which is very important because then we take that single keyword and then we have AI write a full article. That lesson is coming up 
in another CXL feed. So it's giving us specific focus keywords for each topic, which are not too bad. We can take these into keyword research tools, do a little bit more digging, and go from there. Another very quick way to qualify it is to actually see the Google search results for this keyword. If you have a drop down, that immediately verifies that there's traction. So you can see we do. We've got related keywords right here. That means we can make a whole blog from it, absolutely. And then we have 90 million results. So that's a verified keyword. If, for example, we had 100 results and we had no drop down at all, I would avoid that keyword that's not enough search traffic. Okay, so we've got some great ideas from ChatGPT. Now let me show you some other tools that we can also use. Exploding Topics was built by Brian Dean. I'm going to show you what is inside the pro subscription, which starts, I believe, around $39 a month. There's multiple levels and it's billed annually. So at that level, this is what the inside of Exploding Topics looks like. In the trend database, you can type in any topic that you want, and it'll immediately start to populate results for that topic. So we're gonna type in artificial intelligence and we can see right away it's coming up. What I like about Exploding Topics it's not necessarily an AI-driven tool. It's a multiple technology tool stack that Brian Dean built and sold to SEMrush. But what I really like about this tool is it is so data-driven. You get amazing insights. You get key indicators for your topic of the growth. The speed of that growth, is it exponential? Is it a constant? I like seeing constant growth in topics. That tells me it's something to bank on. It's something I could create 100 articles on. It's not gonna go away. The seasonality of a piece of content. If it's high, we've got consistent reoccurring patterns. The volatility of this topic, very low. That means it's a safe topic to stay within. The sentiment, overall feeling or attitude, kind of neutral, which is interesting. And then the forecast. The forecast says it's declining, but this is pulling from search and what search is saying. This is not a declining topic. It's looking at Google search right now. So if we went to YouTube search, if we looked into the data there, YouTube videos on artificial intelligence are getting more traction than they ever have. So you wanna think through all avenues here and don't just go by, okay, the forecast said it's, says it's declining, therefore I'm not gonna write on it. Think about the whole market, not just Google search. This is an area you'd wanna write within. So we've got some interesting related topics here, including this one, which has a 400% growth at 18K searches, explainable artificial intelligence. This is a term I've not heard of, XAI for short, which is referring to methods and techniques that make the results of AI solutions understandable to human experts. Very interesting, particularly valuable in critical fields such as healthcare, finance, and law. So immediately, I love this as a topic to lean into for my blog. I would copy and paste this and run it through a full AI writer and get a full blog post out of it because that kind of growth and that kind of search volume, we've got exploding growth on that. <laughs> we've got positive sentiment and the forecast is growing. And like I said, you know, forecast for artificial intelligence was declining, but that's not everything. So take all of this with a grain of salt but this is a new topic I haven't heard of and it's exploding and it's in my topic area. So I would wanna write articles on this topic. That's an amazing, amazing discovery. So we can click track and then it'll add it to our project. We can create a new project for our website and then we can start to save the topics that we want to create content for. And real quick, we won't dive into all of it, but you can also find what's trending product wise if you have an e-commerce store or you're writing about products, or let's say you're even thinking of launching your next product, you can see what's having exponential growth right here, which is really cool. There's also a section on meta trends, the trend analysis, which gets you an in-depth trend data report. I typed in artificial intelligence. We can narrow that down to country if we wanted. Uh, we can select the years we want to see the growth over. Over five years, it's had consistent growth with some ups and downs. And then down here, we see related trends. And if I know that 
artificial intelligence full course has had a 39% growth that could not only drive my content, but maybe products, maybe courses, maybe books, maybe classes I can teach. Artificial intelligence explained that could drive some YouTube content, tutorial for beginners. This is quite funny and unexpected, but what if we built that? If our site was appealing to folks researching artificial intelligence. So you're gonna get a lot of insights from this tool that can go very deep. And that is a brief overview of it. All right, so let's move into Brandwell. What I like about using Brandwell is it's an all-in-one platform where you can go straight from the content ideation to content creation. And how it works is like this. You add a project to the long form writer called Rankwell. It's as simple as just adding in the website URL, audience, language, website name, whenever you select this project is for guest posts only, it makes that project free. If you unselect it, it means that that project will be included in the brand publisher network, which is a natural link building network. All right, so here's what happens whenever you add a website you have a whole bank of information about that website that starts to build. There's a knowledge graph inside this platform and that knowledge graph is built for each website. So the knowledge graphing technology kicks off whenever you add a website. You get an instant site audit of all your content. Specifically, you see the keywords for those pieces of content. And then you can see at a glance that you can rewrite these, the posts that are poor, refresh the articles, and optimize content. Now to go to ideation, what I like about this is sometimes it doesn't benefit us to create a new article from scratch. It benefits us more to rewrite and update content that's not performing. And that's why I like the approach inside the Brandwell platform. Whenever you add a website, whenever you're thinking through initial content, maybe we should rewrite and that's what we should do for the next calendar month of content. Inside this tool, we also can do keyword research so if I click on that, I can type in a seed keyword, again, related to the overall broad audience that I serve and the product that I sell them. So for mastermind.com, for example, which is the project website we're creating content for, online business would be a good seed keyword that would pull up related keywords for people searching for online business solutions. Mastermind.com teaches people how to build a knowledge-based online business. Now here, really quick run through, because most of you may already know how to find good keywords, but your good keyword all comes down. What is a good keyword? Comes down to two things. Relevancy, it's gotta be hyper relevant to what you do and sell. And then the ranking difficulty. If you have low ranking difficulty and the magic number is in the 40s or below, you have a good keyword. Everything else comes secondary. If you have high search volume, but a very difficult keyword to rank for, wouldn't go after it. And that's also so broad. Is that person going to even want to invest in a course? But somebody that's searching starting an online business is gonna be a little more qualified. However, the ranking difficulty is 54. That said, if I have a high DA website, which I do with mastermind.com, that's a one word website, high authority potential, that I can absolutely go after higher ranking difficulty keywords. And so from here, we can add it to the planner. We can go straight to creating content and go from there. All right, so that's a look at the three tools that I use on a daily basis for topic ideation, qualifying my topics, using data different approaches to create content. People really want to read ChatGPT, Exploding Topics by Brian Dean and Branwell, a tool that I'm actually helping build as well. All right, over to you, now it's your turn. Go ahead and pick one of these three tools to start using and come up with your next five topics you're going to write content on.